Hey, welcome to my new Hansel and Gretel shabby door unfinished house. Come on in. <laughs> So this is one of the rooms, I don't really know what I call this room, the silver room, the grey room. This was me when I was 18, FHM shoot. Do I look different? That was me natural, this is me plastic. Natural plastic, 18, 33. I think I still look the same. I don't actually. What I love about it, I love my glitter. I like like chandeliers, a bit showy I like. You know, not shows in, oh, this is my show home, because my house isn't, my house is proper lived in. Just because it looks tidy in here doesn't mean to say that you can't put your cup anywhere. My house isn't like that, you can do what you like in my house. But what I think will surprise people is, although I'm obsessed with pink, people would always presume that my house would be pink. Yes, my cars are pink and that, because that's a bit of fun. But to actually live in it, I think it would do my head in to have a pink room, like, everywhere. I wonder whose room this is. No, it's not my room. It's Princess's room. I love this room. If I was a young girl, I would have absolutely loved a room like this. All of these are like wardrobes. Got shoes in there. Got shoes in here. I think she's very lucky. I think every girl would love a room like this. My room. At her age, we moved about 13 times, 13 houses, so there's not one particular room I can remember. But obviously, my mum and dad didn't have the money that I have, so I'm lucky I've got the money to be able to spend and make it as spectacular as I can. Very princessy, very girly, gorgeous. In fact, this should be my room, because I love it. Now this is Harvey's room. His room is designed a bit different. He's obsessed with frogs, so obviously that's why we've got frogs everywhere. But if you notice things like in Harvey's room, he's got like bolts everywhere. Everything is bolted. Everything. Because otherwise he'll pick it up and chuck it. Even on the windows we've got safety catches. Same as all the other kids' rooms. It's, in fact, it's all safety as well in here. Now this isn't my kind of bathroom, it's a bit too blue for me, but if you come in here, this is designed for Harvey, all safety, as you can see, none of the taps work anywhere, we've got a safety switch in here that we turn off, so in the night you can have access to the bathroom without running the bath, overflowing it or getting hot water. So this is Junior's room. Is he into football or isn't he into football? Probably not really, but he's a boy, so I thought I'd do a little football room for him. So this will inspire him to kick a football outside. <laughs> it's got like a little shower and sweet bathroom. You've got your built-in wardrobes. Do you know I should be a salesperson for a house, I think. I feel like I'm an estate agent. While Katie's happy to show off their bedrooms, She's keen to keep Junior and Princess out of the public eye. I'm trying to keep them as private as I can. That's why you don't see them, Junior and Princess on my show, because they, they will be aware, whereas Harvey, he's not aware, and he, he's completely different. You know, I've asked teachers about him, about filming, you know, I did a documentary on he's just completely different. Um, so, yeah, but anyway, this is Junior's room. I call this the spaceship room, because it's, like, round like a spaceship. It's like completely soundproofed. Um, we've got the karaoke machine here, so we've got it all on the big screen. We literally just plonk ourselves in here, eat junk food, watch movies. It's brilliant. Now, this is my favourite room of the house. So we've got the TV area, eating area, social area. The kitchen is a place where it all happens. The main thing about living here is the privacy for me and the children. No one can overlook us, no paparazzi can get in anywhere at all. I can stand out there naked if I want and I know that nobody will see me and if they do they're trespassing and I'll bust their balls. <laughs>